So if you notice, he will actually sit without being told. He doesn't know what sit is, but he will actually start to sit because he wants to be with me. He doesn't want to go back in the kennel. He wants to jump all over me and get me wet. And this is the problem on these wet mornings that this pup just wants to jump up because he wants to be with me. Do I punish him for jumping up? No, I don't. Do I encourage him? No, I don't. Do I make too much of it? No, I don't. It's his choice whether he wants to jump up. There you go. He can jump up. What did he get when he jumped up? Is he parking his backside without being told? Yes, he is. Because he's wanting that comfort, look. There, look. He's such a lovely, soft-natured dog. The more I let him have his freedom at this stage, the more the drive and the desire will come out of him. If I start to put control in this dog now, I will suppress the natural ability and the behavior of this dog. At the moment, me and this little dog don't fall out very often. But like I said, yesterday we did, the day before, because he was noisy and wouldn't stop in the kennel, because this is what he wants. But he's got to learn there's ground rules, even at this age. Because now he's not a baby anymore, but he is a baby. Look, he is a baby. Look at him running. He's a little baby, but he's a happy baby. He's enjoying life. Watch. Look, good lad. Comes to me for that fun, for that element. This is what these haters aren't... They don't show you this. They don't show you this. All they show you is, oh, he talked about discipline and cruelty. Oh, it's so cruel, he picks the dog up by its ears. If you pick the dog up by its ears, its ears would be up there. Up there, look. Up there, that's where the ears would be. I pick it up by its scruff. Look, the scruff is behind the ears, look, look. Look, oh, he hates it, look. He hates it. He absolutely hates it. He's learning. <coughs> oh my God, do I kill him for that? Do I beat him for that noise? No, he's a puppy. But he, got, he can't scream and shout like a big baby anymore because he's got to grow up and learn some ground rules. You can't make too much noise in the kennel now. Okay? Are you happy? Good. He wants to be with me. He likes to be with me, but he also likes to be with the other dogs. Imagine one of those dogs nailed him. He'd have no trust, would he? That's no different than a human nailing a puppy for a behavior that the puppy doesn't understand. The puppy has got to learn, but let the puppy be a puppy. And then start putting in the discipline, the control, the behavior. And I show you that you can do it. People say, if you allow the behavior to manifest without obedience, this dog starts with obedience from day one. Yeah, well, if that's what you want, a pet, a, 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 a robot, a dog that'll switch off on a placemat for nine hours, then great, but I don't. I train working dogs. I want that drive, I want that desire. I want that dog to want to please. And yet, on the odd occasion, 5% of this dog's life will be disciplined. Guess what? If the owner's not happy with that, the owner needs to come and get the dog. But the owner knows, by watching my videos, not one of them, but lots of them, that I will get the best out of this dog by using the four quadrants. Now, if you want to know what the four quadrants is, go and look it up. Go and look it up because I train dogs for a living, how about that? Look at him, he's not happy. So people say to me, my dog's not retrieving to hand. He's not retrieving to hand, he can't retrieve to hand. Watch, good lad. Why is he on the place board? <laughs> Didn't see it, make nothing of it. Go and pick it, throw it again. It's the movement. Watch this, watch the place board. His choice, not mine. Good lad. Where can he go once he gets on the place board? Get out. I've not trained him to jump on the place board with the dummy or the, the wing. We're using wing at this point, look. I've trained him to jump on the place board. He gets stroked. You get a positive. Look at him, little bugger. It's his choice to jump on there, but it elevates him. He wants to make that choice. There you go. Look how that works. If I do it out here, He's not going to have the same effect. Watch, watch him jump onto the board. I'm not telling him. 
I'm using psychology. I'm using psychology. He, game finishes unless he jumps on the board. Good lad. Good lad, dead. Dead. Don't take it off. Good lad, good lad. Look at him now. He's like a little champion already. Because I've not put pressure on him. He loves me. He loves my big fat belly. Didn't see it, make nothing of it. Look what happens. Watch what happens. He didn't see it, but he went out there because he saw my movement going forward and he went, ah, what's happening? What's happening? And we're waiting for him to develop, look. He's run past it, look, there you go. Watch this. Look, back up there, end of game, end of game, he fell off. He's got to get that, pick it up and bring it back. If he doesn't pick it up and bring it back, I don't care. I'm not going to call him for 10 hours, right? Not a problem because their attention span as youngsters is nowhere near as good. Now, if those two dogs start making a noise because he is having all the fun, they'd be in trouble because they're big boys, right? They're big boys. Now, watch me when I throw it, we have a better chance of him picking it because of the movement. So if we don't play this game for five minutes, He's beginning to grow up, look. He's beginning to sit without being told. There's the sit. Get out. There you go, watch. Watch. Good lad. Now, now, isn't it simple, when you think about it, how we build it up in those stages? Get out. There you go. It's his choice. He can run off with the other dogs. They'll take it off him, don't you worry about that. his choice right he's got to get on there with it there you go good lad and the game continues from there so I'm using the place board as the element of fun I'm making the place board a fun thing for the dog but he doesn't know what sit is I don't want him to know what sit is at this point I want him to enjoy life with me if he enjoys life with me where would he want to be with me he's got those dogs up there over there there you go less distraction in the middle of the yard I'm not going to take it off him he's going to have to get up there with it but guess what happened I'm not going to stroke him he can sit there for 10 minutes for all I care I'll decide when I pick it up I'll decide when to praise him and if he gets on there and gives it me I will tell him he's a good boy I will tell him he's a good boy if he picks it up and puts it on there but he'll learn that if he listens and does what I want him to do, me and him will have fun together. If not, the fun will stop. He may have a little bit of fun running around that yard like that, doing that, but the fun's not the same. He's looking for the fun, look. There it is. Is he gonna pick it up? Is he gonna get on the place board with it? Nope, not a problem. So what we do, it's all to do with movement. Movement, waiting him for to develop, making him to get up there. He's got to get up there first. There you go. Does he come onto the place board? It's his choice. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. And that's where he gets the praise. And that's where I give him the praise. The praise comes from listening to me. So it's not going to happen until he gets on there. There it is. Watch. Here comes the praise if he jumps on here. No praise. Because he's a puppy. He's not going to get the praise because he didn't pick it up and bring it with him. But I'm not going to make nothing of it. He learned through association of gameplay. The game continues if he wants to play the game. It won't continue if he doesn't. That's how we tap in to... There you go. His choice, he's learning. Good lad, good boy. Sound like a horse then, didn't I? And as you can see, do I overdo it? No, that's enough. Now, when he goes back to his kennel, he's gonna play up. He's gonna play up because he wants to be with other dogs. He won't wanna go back to his kennel because his kennel is a place he has to switch off and he wants to play. I don't blame him. Because gameplay is gameplay, it's as simple as that. 
Look how focused all four dogs are on this because I tapped into it when I should tap into it. Look at the focus on all four dogs for this. Uh, is anybody making a noise? Is anybody saying, I want attention? No, they're not. Even the Rasta Tapta and the Wizzy Wink Bang are just sitting there waiting. They've been through all this. They've done it. You have to build dog training up in stages. It's all to do with stages. My dogs see that place board as a positive. Can it be used as a negative? Oh, yes, it can. But 95% of my gameplay is positive. That is what this is all about, everybody. The haters love to hate. Let them get on with it.